Connecticut State University student now facing voyeurism charges. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Zinni. And hi, everyone. I'm Erin Connolly. The student is accused of watching women shower on campus. And tonight we have the latest on the investigation and reaction from students. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina is joining us live right now on the campus at CCSU with the latest. Hector. Well, a 25-year-old male student was caught watching two female students shower after swim practice. It all happened inside a locker room in the Kaiser Hall right here behind me. Now, tonight I spoke with students who say they're disgusted by this incident, including a student athlete who uses that same locker room. On January 17th, CCSU police say two women on the school swim team noticed 25-year-old Matthew Nieves watch them shower. According to a campus police arrest warrant, one of the women noticed Nieves peeking through a small door opening. She made eye contact with Nieves, screamed, and immediately told her coach. Police say the coach searched the area and took photos of a suspicious man outside of Kaiser Hall, and the photos matched the woman's description of Nieves. The hall he was in is the main athletic facility on campus. CCSU track and field athlete Kalisha Derismi tells Eyewitness News she uses the same locker room where Nieves saw the woman showering. It's very, like, open and stuff like that, so it's kind of, like, scary to see, like, another guy in there. According to the warrant, when Nieves spoke with police, he said he accidentally went into the locker room. He knew he was on the woman's side of Kaiser Hall, but didn't know he was in the woman's locker room. But Derismi tells us she's in that building quite often, and Nieves' story doesn't add up. Is it easy to get lost in that building? No, it's not. It's really not. It says women's locker room on it, and, like, there's a door, and there's another door to get into it. So it's just, like, you walk in, and it's a whole bunch of, like, women's stuff in there. So you can't really, like, stumble into there. The warrant goes on to say that one of the doors Nieves opened was labeled Women's Varsity Suite, which gives a clear view of the shower area. Police go on to say that by viewing campus surveillance, they realized Nieves was aware of his location and that his actions did not indicate that he was lost or could not find his way out. He's now being charged with voyeurism and criminal trespassing. As a woman, I think just in general, there's a lot of things where we always have to feel like we have to keep ourselves more private. I mean, I wouldn't want that done to me and I wouldn't have wanted that done to anyone of my friends or anyone that I know. That's just, it's weird, it's creepy. And police say they also checked Nieves' phone to see if they could find any photos or video of the woman showering. They said they didn't find any of that on his cell phone. Now, we also reached out to the university to find out if Nieves is still a student here on campus, but they said they wouldn't comment on a pending investigation. We're live on the campus of CCSU in New Britain tonight. Hector Molina, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.